Hello everybody, today I'm gonna explain install Scoot on PFSense. So let's start it. So I already started on my PFSense and my Kali for the testing. So let's go to our PFSense website. Let's type it in. Alright. Okay, our username is admin. Password. Uh, this is our PSNs. So uh, right now we don't have any Scoot package installed, so we need to install it first. We need to go to System Package Manager and uh, available packages, and you can type it in Scoot, or you can go down and find it as Scoot. Let's install first Scoot. Confirm. So we should create it. Okay. So it's already installed, and let's install Squid Guard. Let's start in Squid again. And then there is the Squid Quart, it's a high performance web proxy URL filter. Install. Confirm. There is already installed successfully, completed. So let's go to our script. So before we start configuration, we need to go to the local cache and we need to clear this cache now. Okay, it's ready. We need to go to the general and check to enable to script proxy. Checked. Uh, you can keep this a default, and this one is a LAN and loopback. All right. So you can select by using control and click the other ones to choose the multiple interfaces so you can keep it as a default you can keep it as a default uh, transparent http proxy enable it's just a lan uh. I will show you this one later. This will enable the logs. If you guys want to enable the access logs, you can enable it from here. And make it quick part. Okay. And right here is a, you can keep it as a default. If you guys want to change it, you can change it. Save it. So it's already saved and we need to go to the service again and a good quad proxy filter we will check later and uh, this one's you don't need this one enable google lock yes enable locks yes okay clean advertising checked and blacklist options we need to check it Okay. For the blacklist URL, you can use any other uh, blacklist. Uh, I will use Shala list blacklist. Okay, let's type it in. It's almost ready here. Let's save it. And we need to go to the blacklist option here. It's downloading the URL domains. So it's ready. Blacklist update is complete. You need to go to the command SEL and uh, you can choose from here. Let's block some of the websites. Deny. Let's try finance banking. Deny. 
I will select some of them. Do not allow IP address in URL. You can select it. And you can keep it redirect mode. If you guys want to redirect to any other websites, you can put it like here. Uh, external URL error page. You guys put it here. Any websites. Say search. Logs. And save it. Okay, let's go to the general settings again and check it and enable. Why this here? It should block some of the websites. Uh, for example, we block uh, financial banking such as Bank of America or Chase, something like this. Let's try the Bank of America. Okay, enter. So, the target groups finance banking. Alright, it's, uh, it's blocking, so it's, we don't have any errors, it blocks all of them. Let's try chase.com. Uh, chase is also blocking. Okay, so as you see guys, it blocks the um, Chase Bank of America sites. Uh, let's open it. Let's do whitelist or hello and save it. And you need to go to general settings and apply. Uh, let's type it in again chase.com. As you see, guys, here you can access to the Chase right now and Bank of America to any other uh, banking websites. Thank you guys. I will show you lights quick and man in the middle in the next time.